role of big data in medicine is really one of, you know, can we build better health profiles, uh, better predictive models around individual patients so that we can better diagnose and, and treat their disease. You know, one of the main limitations with uh, medicine today and in the pharmaceutical industry is really our understanding of disease, uh, the biology of disease. So where the big data comes into play in this arena is really around, uh, you know, aggregating more and more information around uh, you know, multiple scales for, for what constitutes a disease. So I'm talking, you know, from the DNA, proteins, metabolites, to cells, to tissues, to organs, to organisms, to ecosystems. Like those are the scales of, of, uh, of, of the biology that we need to be modeling uh, by integrating the big data. And if we do that, the models will evolve, the models will build, will be more predictive uh, for those given individuals. You know, the way I think about it is it's not gonna be a discrete event that all of a sudden uh, we go from not using big data in medicine to using big data in medicine. I view it more on a continuum, more of an evolution. And as we begin building these models, aggregating big data, we're gonna be testing and applying the models uh, on individuals, assessing the outcomes, refining the models, and so on. All of those questions become easier to answer. The modeling becomes more informed as we start pulling in all of this information. So I would say, you know, at the very beginning stages of this revolution, uh, but I think it's going to go very fast because there's great maturity uh, in the information sciences beyond medicine. You know, certainly medicine, uh, the life sciences are not the first to encounter, you know, big data. We have information powered companies like Google and Amazon and Facebook and a lot of the algorithms that are applied there to predict, you know, what, what kind of movie do you like to watch uh, or, or what kind of foods do you like to buy or whatever advertisers might be interested in. Those same machine learning techniques, uh, you know, that again, take a look at all the features you can collect and then start identifying those features that can predict behaviors you're interested in. Those same type of methods, the infrastructure for managing the data can all be applied in, in medicine.